This project started when a flying friend of mine who was a crew chief on Lockheed C-141s in the Air Force asked me to build a model of the one he worked on. All the C-141s that were ever built are now scrapped, so I decided to go ahead and build a simple 4 channel one. I used some low quality car model plans that blew up to 132nd scale in order to get the sheen patterns and the general outline. Like the rest of my airliners, I am using 2, 3, and 6mm Depron along with wood and other materials like carbon fiber. 450mm Dr. Matt thrust fans uh, from Hobby King and a 4 cell battery will be powering this plane. I started by cutting out the wing sheeting and gluing on the center wing spar and airfoil ribs. The airfoil is the same one that was used on the real C-141. With the ribs and servos in place, I built the ailerons and added the rest of the spars. The engine pylons were cut out of thin basswood and epoxy into place and later sheeted on the sides of Depron. I mounted all four EDS by epoxying a small piece of basswood onto a stand portion of the shroud and gluing it to the bottom of the engine pylons. After sheeting the wing, I built the fuselage with the usual sheeting over former method from the nose to the tail. The landing gear mount and bogey is made out of balsa and basswood, and I made space for eight main gear wheels, but I will only be flying with the four outer ones. I decided a full flying stab would be the best way to go in order to get the best control authority. I built a simple setup for this with a 17 gram elevator servo mounted at the base of the vertical stab. After a successful main flight, I ordered custom graphics from Cali's Graphics for the C-141 that had tail number 60141, the same one my friend flew. Here is a picture of him holding the model. This was a quick and fun build. Don't forget to check out the RC Groups thread link in the description box, and thanks for watching.